ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the world's first fully biodegradable backpack. But first... Four, three, two, one... NASA's DART mission has successfully smashed a spacecraft into an asteroid. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh wow. And we have Every impact. Minute. It's the first ever planetary defence test, meaning it's humanity's initial attempt at moving another celestial body. The aim being to see if a large asteroid hurtling towards Earth could be diverted. They successfully crashed the craft at a speed of 15,000 miles per hour into the asteroid Dimorphos, 6.8 million miles from our planet. Apple says it's now started making its new handset in India, in a shift from its supply chains in China. The tech giant makes most of its phones in China, but now has moved some production elsewhere, as tensions rise between the US and Beijing. The country's zero-COVID policies have triggered widespread lockdowns and also caused major disruptions for businesses during the pandemic. Tech and Science Daily have been finding out about the world's first fully biodegradable backpack. The Institution of Engineering and Technology has launched this competition, Engineer a Better World, Backpack to the Future. And the idea is to try and get kids excited about science and engineering by asking kids aged 5 to 13 years old to design a futuristic backpack incorporating exciting technologies that could help to make their lives or other people's lives even better. That's Dr. Kira McGrath, who is the Young Woman Engineer of the Year and a lecturer in aerospace systems at the University of Manchester. So as part of this, uh, to launch the competition, the IET have teamed up with Hype, who are a global fashion brand, and also a company called Biophilica, who have engineered a new material that is like leather, but made from leaves. And it's called Tree Kind. And working with them, we've built the world's first biodegradable backpack. The Institution of Engineering and Technology launched a competition to spark excitement about how STEM can help make children and young people's fashion hopes come true. Leaf leather, so it's like, you know, strong and durable like leather, but it's made from leaves and it's biodegradable. So yeah, it's absolutely incredible. And this is the kind of, you know, exciting science and engineering that's going on in the fashion industry today. The winner of the competition will have a working prototype of their design made and a backpack inspired by their creation will be displayed in Hype's flagship London store. More than half of the world's palm trees are in danger, according to a new study. Scientists used artificial intelligence to assess risks and the data gives a much better idea of how many and which palm species are under threat. They're a huge plant family and provide millions of people with food, drink and shelter. According to the research published in Nature Ecology and Evolution, at least 185 palm species that have a use may be threatened in 92 regions. The discovery of an ultra-rare diamond suggests that the Earth's inner layers has oceans worth of water hidden inside. Minerals are trapped inside the rare gem diamond which originated from a depth of about 660 kilometres underground. The study published in the journal Nature Geoscience sheds more light on our planet's deep water cycle. While studies have suggested that the Earth's mantle could be home to large quantities of water, there hasn't been much supporting evidence until now. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, why your coffee could increase your life and how you can get a watch with a bit of Mars inside it. Whilst you're here, why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. Research suggests that family ties give animals reasons to help or harm as they age. The study from the University of Exeter's Centre for Research in Animal Behaviour looked at how relatedness, the strength of genetic links, changes over a lifetime in several mammal species, plus the impact of living among relatives or not. When living in a group of close genetic relatives, it might be in an animal's best interest to behave in a way that helps the whole group, but when living with fewer related animals or unrelated ones, the best strategy could be selfish or even harmful behaviour. The team looked at different animal families such as male spotted hyenas, female chimpanzees offspring, killer whales and mongooses to name a few. According to the study, given that animals have evolved to ensure their genes survive, these long-term changes in relatedness to the family group give animals different incentives. Drinking two to three cups of coffee a day could be linked with a longer lifespan. 
A study from the Baker Heart and Diabetes Research Institute in Australia found that when compared with avoiding coffee, it was also associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease. The findings applied to ground, instant and decaffeinated varieties of the drink, and researchers say they suggest coffee consumption could be considered part of a healthy lifestyle. According to the study, the greatest risk reduction was seen with two to three cups per day. And finally, you can now buy a watch which is packed with real Mars dust. Belgium firm Interstellar say the NASA-approved timepiece, the NASA Times Interstellar Red 3.721, was created in honor of the space agency Perseverance Mars rover mission. If you fancy getting one, the Mars dust versions of the watches start at £450. The company says they want to give billionaire and SpaceX founder Elon Musk one, but we're guessing he probably can afford to buy his own. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard here in London. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.